Six months ago, the Republic of South Sudan became the world's newest nation, officially separating from northern Sudan. But since independence, there's been increasing violence in the resource-rich border areas of Abyei, Blue Nile and southern Kordofan, and now the situation is worsening again. The United Nations warned that more than 2.5 million people in South Sudan will require food assistance, and Doctors Without Borders says a series of humanitarian emergencies are unfolding, as this month many thousands of refugees have fled across the border into South Sudan to escape conflict. Jean-Pierre Amigo is MSF's field coordinator in Maban, South Sudan, where they've established a refugee camp. He joins us now on a satellite phone. Welcome to Free Speech Radio News. Thank you. Now, you say you've scaled up into full emergency mode in Upper Nile State. What does that mean exactly? Uh, well, currently uh, in uh, uh, Maban County, where uh, MSF is uh, currently working, uh, we have uh, around uh, 15,000 refugees. All these people are still arriving every day uh, in a big number. Um, by any manner, it can be by donkey, by foot, uh, donkey park, by camel, by trucks. Uh, and it's a non-stop uh, going of uh, an influx of uh, refugees. And does this represent an escalation in the number of refugees arriving? What's the difference between now and a month ago? The food thing is a constant and it's uh, uh, difficult uh, to, uh, to evaluate if there is more now or uh, as it is, it is non-stop. And what actions are you taking? What, what does this ramping up to an emergency level mean for your organization? In the camp, we set up a, a clinic and a, a maternity. Uh, the maternity is running uh, 24 hours and 24 hours. By now, what we can see is uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, respiratory infections, malaria, uh, skin diseases, and all water-related uh, uh, diseases, which indicates that uh, there is a serious access uh, a serious problem so yeah, of access of uh, proper water. Uh, in El Fuj, uh, uh, the main disease we can see is malaria, uh, but we have a, a also a, a serious concern about uh, nutrition as uh, uh, we did the distribution of uh, uh, high energy uh, in, uh, biscuits. Uh, to uh, almost 3,700 children uh, and uh, five years old, and we discover that uh, 400 of them uh, was uh, malnutrition, uh, and the quarter is severely malnutrition, uh, which uh, uh, gives uh, a clear uh, picture of an emergency because uh, such an amount of uh, malnourished children is really alarming. What more can you tell us about where the refugees exactly are coming from and, and what's causing them to come into the camps in such numbers at the moment? For example, yesterday we had a, a, a lady, 70 years old, uh, that arrived uh, after six days uh, uh, walking and uh, uh, escaping from a village. She received six bullets in the back and uh, uh, the hand was completely destroyed and two, fin two fingers were uh, uh, out uh, also because bullets. And uh, the family uh, told us that uh, uh, during the ground attack, because she was too old, uh, she even managed to escape from the, the fight, in the, the attack in the, in the village, in the small village where they come from. And uh, that's the reason why she was injured. Jean-Pierre Amigo, field coordinator for Doctors Without Borders, speaking to us on that difficult satellite phone line from Maban in South Sudan. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thanks to you.